Quiz question for you. What's the only place in Scotland that's looked after by the National Trust for Australia? And the answer? The building behind me. Because in this building lies the mortal remains of Lachlan Macquarie. Now Lachlan Macquarie was born on the island of Ulva, 31st of January 1762. And when he was 14 years old, he left and he joined the military, serving in uh, the American Wars of Independence in 1777. Anyway, he rose through the ranks and in May 1809, he was appointed the fifth governor of uh, New South Wales in Australia. And he took over on the 1st of January 1810 until he resigned on the 30th of November 1821. Now, Lachlan Macquarie took over from a Vice Admiral William Bly. Does that name ring a bell? Well, it should. It's the same Captain William Bly who was mutated on the bounty by Fletcher Christian on 28th of April 1789. <clears throat> well, William Bly was sent down to Australia as the fourth governor to sort out the corrupt rum trade of the New South Wales Corps. And he was seen as a bit of a hard man and the British government thought he could sort them out. Well, I mean, he was muted on the bounty, so I don't think he would say he was a hard man. However, it didn't work. And his action against the New South Wales Corps <clears throat> resulted in the so-called Rum Rebellion. And in January 1808, he was arrested and deposed of his command. And to date, this is the only ever armed takeover of Australian government. Now Lachlan Macquarie went down to sort it out, which he did. And central to his policies was the treatment of the emancipists. Now the emancipists were basically convicts who'd been uh, given pardons or conditional pardons or had served them sentences. And he gave them jobs in the government, but it came with certain responsibilities. They had to have strong Christian marriages, they had to attend church, and they had to lead reformed Christian lives. Now, the free settlers weren't happy with uh, Macquarie's policies and they complained to London. And in 1821, a judge, John Bigger, came down to Australia to report on the colony. And in general, he agreed with uh, the free people, free settlers' arguments. And that's when Macquarie resigned in 1821. Now, prior to that, against the guidance and the wishes of the British government, he established the Bank of Australia, New South Wales in 1817 and in 1821, correction, 1820, sorry, he ordered all traffic on the roads to keep to the left. Now, John Bigger, one of the things he also said in his uh, recommendations was that no governor should rule autocratically because he was the last autocratic government. Basically what he said went. And in 1824, the first New South Wales Legisl Legislative Council was formed. Anyway, Macquarie died in London in 1824, uh, whilst he was defending biggest charges. But in Australia, his reputation continued to grow, especially amongst the emancipists and their descendants. And anybody from Australia, from New South Wales or Tasmania, will tell you there are many, many places named after Macquarie in his honour. There's museums, there's hospitals, universities, streets, parks, mountains, everything. And I think. The fitting thing here is he's buried in Grueling on Mull, overlooking his beloved Ulva. And just come with me here, and this is the real important thing. This is what he's thought of in Australia. Come this way. Black outside the mausoleum, talking about Lachlan Macquarie, the very bottom line, the father of Australia. <laughs>